You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, if you're a Raiders fan and you're hoping for an Antonio Pierce hire, you're about this far away. It's very, very close. And if I'm a Raiders fan, I am so fired up about the idea that we might bring in this young former head coach, offensive hot shot as the offensive coordinator, because Colin Cowherd broke some pretty big news as well involving the Raiders. And this is looking very promising. Leslie Frazier, Chris Richard has been interviewed. The Rooney Rule has been satisfied for the league. Yes, I know Antonio Pierce is black. And it's like, what are we doing here? I mean, the NFL is just ridiculous with these rules. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are. Vinny, Vincent Bonsignor, of course, of the uh, Vegas Journal, I believe, if I'm not going crazy. Yeah, Vegas Review Journal. The Raiders have now satisfied the NFL's guidelines for coaching searches. They can announce a permanent head coach anytime. Looking more and more like Antonio Pierce with Champ Kelly as the GM. So that's where we are. ESPN Insider, Dan Graziano, right here. Pierce has has the very fervent and public backing of the Raiders players, most notably star edge rusher Max Crosby. After letting go of popular interim coach Rich Basaccia two years ago in favor of the failed McDaniels experiment, team owner Mark Davis could give the players what they want this time around. Pierce went 5-4 and four as the interim coach after serving as the team's linebackers coach in 2022 and the first half of 2023. Just a side note, folks. Um, far as anybody knows, the Raiders are still interested in Jim Harbaugh, but if they are, they're moving too damn slow, okay? The Chargers have already interviewed him. The Falcons have already interviewed Jim Harbaugh. Uh, look, the Falcons wouldn't shock me in all this, Okay. Arthur Blank is ready to write a massive blank check to either Bill Belichick or Jim Harbaugh. So uh, Mike Vrabel's another one I would watch there, but he's going to have a big-name head coach with the Atlanta Falcons this time. So now that you don't have somebody like Kyler Murray holding you back, and I'm talking about Coach Cliff Kingsbury, Colin Cowder has come out. He has broke the news that Cliff Kingsbury will be the offensive coordinator for Antonio Pierce with the Las Vegas Raiders. If it it looks like anyway, this is why Colin Cowherd is saying on Monday's episode of The Herd, host Colin Cowherd revealed a source told him to be on the lookout for new Raiders offensive coordinator to join Pierce on the sidelines for the 2024-25 season. Quote, if he gets the job, keep your eye on Cliff Kingsbury as as his offensive coordinator. A couple other places to watch on Kingsbury. The Patriots is going to be a big place to watch. All right? There's no guarantee that Bill O'Brien's coming back, although he probably will. Um, And the New Orleans Saints. If for some reason John Gruden does not get that gig, or if Gruden is named the senior offensive assistant or assistant head coach, Kingsbury might get the offensive coordinator job there. A lot of this is going to come down to who wants to spend the, a, a certain amount of money. All right. If he gets a job, keep an eye on Cliff Kingsbury. As the OC, Cowherd said, I have a source that told me Cliff Kingsbury is his likely offensive coordinator if he gets the job. All right. So. And keep in mind, Arizona Cardinals from 2019 to 2022. And, of course, Antonio Pierce was down uh, around Arizona coaching in college. So there may be some connective tissue going on there, okay? Kingsbury is currently a senior offensive analyst and quarterbacks coach at USC and served as the head coach of Texas Tech from 2013 to 2018 and for the Cardinals from 2019 to 2022. Bo Hardigrig 
was appointed interim offensive coordinator of the Raiders on October 31 after the firing of O.C. Mick Lombardi and mere, mere hours after Coach Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler were let go. I still wonder if Dave Ziegler might not have been somebody you would have considered keeping around under other circumstances, I think. I think Ziegler is going to end up getting a job, actually. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know, okay? Uh, but I, I don't think NFL teams are ready to give up on Dave Ziegler. Josh McDaniels, on the other hand, probably going wherever Bill goes, you know? Raiders complete the interview. Chris Richards, Leslie Frazier. I did a video on Leslie Frazier because I was like, what are we doing here? Uh, is this a Rooney Rule thing? Or surely to God, this can't be um, something that's serious, all right, uh, that, that the Raiders are seriously entertaining. So uh, Raiders conducted an in-person interview with former NFL assistant coach Chris Richard on Tuesday. Adam Schefter of ESPN reports. Richard did not coach in the NFL this season. He most recently was co-defensive coordinator and secondary coach of the Saints in 2022. Richard also coached with the Seahawks and the Cowboys. He played for the Raiders in 2007. The Raiders also completed an interview with Leslie Frazier to Sean Reed of The Athletic Reports. Frazier also didn't coach in the NFL in 2023. Most recently was the Bills defensive coordinator, from 2017 to 2022, there's been a lot of fire. There was a lot of fire around Frazier last year as a head coach. Not so much this year. They have satisfied the Rooney rule, leaving them free to hire Antonio Pierce if they choose. P Pierce is the only candidate, and yeah, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that, is the only candidate that they've interviewed. They have interviewed him officially and Champ Kelly officially. Again, Harbaugh, as far as I know, is still in play. But I just think the Chargers and the Falcons, now the Falcons, are taking these big swings. Uh, who knows who else is going to jump in this as far as Jim Harbaugh goes. Somebody could. Got to remember, I, something about Seattle, the Seattle Seahawks and Harbaugh feels kind of interesting to me uh, as well. So I don't. I don't know how that's going to go. I know John Snyder is talking up the fact that he's kind of happy he's getting more personnel control. Well, if you bring in Harbaugh, you ain't keeping that, okay? You're not keeping that same personnel control that you now have. Uh, one thing that has to be said, don't forget, the Falcons – and the Titans both interviewed Antonio Pierce already. And of the two, I think the Titans are serious about Antonio Pierce. Something about that, in the back of my mind, for the last several days, I've been thinking, I've been somewhat bracing for a Tennessee Titans hire Antonio Pierce splash report from Rappaport or from Schefter. All right? And it seems like Antonio Pierce made an appearance at MLK Parade, I believe it was, and he had on his Raiders gear. It seemed, it seemed, and feel felt like he had he knew he was getting the job. Okay, very much. Champ Kelly was there. Richard Seymour was there, of course. And um, I I didn't play the video in this, but there's video around that. It's about this close. And if I'm a Raiders fan, I'm sitting back going, look, we get Champ Kelly, we get Antonio Pierce, we get Cliff Kingsbury in here, who absolutely, you know the one thing that a lot of people came down on Kingsbury, and the one thing I noticed was when Kyler Murray got hurt, all of a sudden Kingsbury had Colt McCoy playing really well. And I was like, well, that's sort of interesting. Kyler Murray's supposed to be this all-world talent, but Cliff Kingsbury gets him out of the way, and all of a sudden, Colt McCoy is good. And I'm like, okay, that's some traits of somebody that's a good offensive coach. He gets a different quarterback, and it's like, whose system was really the right fit here? What, you know, he was hired specifically for Kyler. Except 
Colt seemed to flash in that system more than Kyler did. And I was like, you know, that's interesting. And it makes me think that uh, Cliff Kingsbury is going to get an OC job here, most likely. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.